Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, you know don't you, and still. We've got my good friend Rico on the line. How are you doing Rico? Hello. Talking to the... How are you? I'm alright, talking to the voice of hardcore boxing. I am indeed, talking the voice of hardcore <laughs> A lot of things have come out during the lockdown, and uh, seems like you're right on most. Seems like what? You're right on most of the stuff throughout. Well, I seem to be getting a lot of right, don't I, lately? Yeah. Well, you've been keeping yeah, all right. I've been looking to do pay-per-view. Am I what? You are, mate. Looking to do pay-per-view stuff, so I think you were right on that one. Yeah, yeah. I said it wasn't going to happen in July, didn't I? So... Is it, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask you... Uh, obviously, you've probably heard that uh, Peter Fury and Yui agreed to... Sorry, I'll start from the beginning. About four weeks ago, Dave Allen went on IFL and he said that... He'd, if he's coming back, it's got to be David Price, rematch, or Yui, didn't he? So we agree on that, don't we? Yes. Right. Since then, offers were made, and Dave said the offer wasn't satisfactory, and he wanted a bit more. So, since then, Peter and Yui have offered 25 grand a Yui's purse, right? to get to Dave. So what's the hold up? He said it ain't about money and he wants to fight and he just wanted a bit extra. So he's getting 25 of Yui's money because Yui just wants to fight, doesn't he? I mean, Yui didn't get no Foot Parker yeah, fight. He just wants to fight, doesn't he? He wants the opportunity to get out there. So they've tried to put things right with Dave. And now, all you've got is people coming out his little gimp following, these little gimps who follow him and put stuff out for him on social media because he's not on Twitter, they're now saying he wants to fight and all that but we're going to see aren't we but I think it's a good fight for Dave if he beats Huey, he's in mix if he loses yeah. Eddie will still bring him back because he's funny on Instagram you know he's an afterthought isn't he, he's like light hearted entertainment I mean where would we be without David War Allen. Right, yeah, I, I think you need to look at it this way. So, the last fight he had for meaning was David's fight. That's the level below where he is. So, by fighting here to that world level, which is what he's always been talking about wanting. He wants to fight for money, or does he want to fight for the glory? If he wants, he's the perfect opponent for that. Yeah, but you've got to understand, right? Dave said it's not about belts. He just wants to get some money. Now they're offering him more money. He's he, he, he looks like he's going on about he wants belts. Reading between lines. What do you think, Rico? I just don't think he wants to fight against you because if he. There's nobody left for him to fight in Britain and then comes to give in the boxing ring. Uh. So if you would beat him. Who's his best win? Hey, who's, who's his, his best win? Nick, Lucas, Nick Lucas. Webb. Nick Webb? Lucas Five? Yeah, yeah, I mean, Nick Webb. I mean, what level is Nick, Nick Webb? Feel no British level, right? About British. English. English level, yeah. What's David so, Price? In this current climate, he's probably just... Probably what? I wouldn't back him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't back him to win the British title. Right. David so David Price is English level stroke British. Yeah. Right, and he won every round and every minute against Dave Allen over 10 rounds, made him quit. Right, so we agree on that, don't we? Yes. 
So what level is Dave Allen then? Area level stroke English? Yeah, you've got to say that. Based on everything we've seen, every, every meaningful opponent's is force, he's area slash English. If you, yeah. Lucas Brown, who at that point was washed off, British level, isn't it? So, how's it... Look at that Lucas Brown. Yeah. If you took that Lucas Brown against Dubois or Joyce, Exactly. So, how's it got to this stage, Rico, where Dave Allen, who we both know, not won an area belt, knocking fights back from Macho and MTK to go on Sky Undercard's pay-per-view, probably chief support. How's it got to the stage where he's knocking fights back, but he's not won an area belt, and he wanting more money, they're gaining more money, and he's still messing them about. How's it got to this? Bad management, I mean, then he was not in good shape, but, you know, he was racking off. He accepts the fight to go and fight against, basically, from fighting them. Yeah. He's going to fight all teams. Then he fights nobody's. On a wild level. So they haven't even built him in the area level. They haven't built him in got him to, they got him a Commonwealth bounce shot, which he lost twice. So they haven't gone through the process of actually building him as a fighter. Hard work. It's been all about getting him high up on cards and, you know, get... So nobody has actually looked after his best interest as a boxer. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, how many trainers has he had? Nine. Again, it's not, he's the type of fighter that time to improve what he has. So the perfect man for him is some anyway cap. Oh, but he didn't want to be there, so he left. Yeah. Then he went back to Mick Marsden, that didn't work. Then, you know, is he now with Jamie Moore and Nigel Travers? Jamie Moore, yeah, Nigel Travis, yeah, over there, isn't he? I mean, what are they going to do with him? I mean, Darren Barker, right, said to him, don't take X amount to fight the bar, tell him you want 350. He went back to Frank, we want 350. Frank said no, then Barker said, oh, you need to retire. Uh, I don't want to see you take punishment. But yeah, Barker were willing to train him for, free, for his cut of 350, wasn't he? Yeah, They've I mean, not got his best interests at heart, have they? None of them. Dennis wouldn't have treated him like that. He'd have put him on a ticket yeah. deal. <laughs> <laughs> All the joking, Dennis. Uh, no, I'm uh, not. If you think about uh, Dan Barker, the trainer, he's got no credentials. He hasn't, I think, maybe one or two. What an easy box. Is it? So it was just more of a gimme than anything else. If Darren Barker was a six, David, when Dave Allen left him, you would have come and train him. Because it's about the love of training fighters, not his name straight away. Yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. So basically, Dave's in limbo, isn't he, at the moment? If he don't, if he don't fight Yui, you're not going to get paid next month. And what, what, what's he going to do? He must have millions in bank. He must be doing all right because at yeah. one point he took nine grand to let Luis Ortiz flog him. Yeah, exactly. Now they're offering him a purse plus another twenty-five on top. So what? What is he hoping yeah. for? David Price rematch? If he, if he was serious about beating. Just say, and if he believes it could be you, he will probably say, let me before that fight to just get the cobwebs off. Yeah. Fight when uh, when fans are allowed and there's more money on the table. 
you made and it's a bigger mess. But it doesn't seem like that he wants to fight here or he wants money because that can't get big versus without fat, can he? No, so the, the hour. Yeah. Do you, do you think that uh, do you think that Dave just wants to knock a few journeymen out and be famous on social media and not really wants to wants to take it too seriously? Think he just wants to be a media personality instead of like knuckling down? I think I think at this stage, I mean, once the fight starts doing well, you have to question if they want. The punishment, and I can I can understand that because uh, he's been treated a, poorly, Annie David. Of course he has. Yes, I mean he's been treated like a piece of meat. Yes, and he knows sooner uh, or later that it'll all be over, and he's got to make as much money as he can. So I can understand him wanting more money, but when you've not won an area belt and you're knocking that kind of money back, I'm not going to say what money altogether, but like I've just said there. They've offered him 25 grand a U.S. purse. Now, on top of what he were already offered, so what's his problem? If you get beat, Eddie's not going to get rid of you. You do numbers on Instagram. No, Eddie, Eddie needs fighters in the UK because if they, <laughs> I mean, partly that part. Also, the fact that probably there will be fighters. Um, across the world without fighters like Dave to fight against Fabian Wardley and you know other up and coming <coughs> there's enough fights out there for Dave really to in. fight he could end up with 15 losses and still still be plodding on yeah the only thing is do people can so it might be that he feels like he can still remain relevant it's a bad line this week, oh, we're on here with your phone, mate. Keeps cutting out your phone, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've just had somebody else on and it would bang on clear as a bell, but yours, you're talking and then it cuts out. It's better now, I, I can't even hear you anymore. Is this better? Yeah, that's better, yeah. Right then, so basically, Dave Allen's a messer, he's messed Peter about. And don't fight if you don't agree any any uh, in next few hour I think he's heading for Skid Row so let's move on from Dave Allen right Darren Barker's tweet about Gerald Miller should be banned for life and all that and and everybody going on about uh, uh, he's a drug cheat this and that but well, are we forgetting that Povetkin has been done twice, White's been done twice, Tyson Fury had three issues on three separate dates and then he tried to sign him. So why Coogan Cassius asking these questions to Eddie Hearn and Darren Barker and people like that? Why are they just going all out attack on Miller, trying to make him poster boy for, for, for cheating when they're all at it, aren't they really? We know what's going on, don't we? It's easy to say that an American heavyweight problems over there, but the moment a British fighter gets caught, there's always a reason why something's gone wrong or why something's gone in there. Yeah. Kid Galahad, whether that's Dillian White, where we still don't know what happened. Still don't actually know what the issue there was. And so we can main foreign fighters but no problem in Britain because if they should have somebody really cared then they'd uncover some yeah I see what you mean yeah so what do you it's think in no one's interest it's in no one in it's in no whether it's Spanx boxer that trains in the gym yeah. Yeah. I just don't think that uh, Jarrell Miller can come back from that if he if he's guilty. But it's the wild, wild west, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's 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 it's
having, I'm having a nightmare today with this, aren't I? Let me try this here. Hello, yeah, I can hear you, Rico. Yeah, it's having a nightmare with your phone today, aren't we? Are you on WhatsApp, Rico? Hello. Yeah, Rico. I'm on WhatsApp call. Oh, no. no. Oh, ring me on other line, mate. Ring me on other line. Let's see what it sounds like on that. Yeah. Go on. Then. Let's see that. Oh. Go on. Then. Enter to Bluetooth. Should have just pulled up and done that. Is he followed, isn't he? Yeah. Look at this. Oh no. Nice. Come on, Rico. Rico? Hey, is that better? I'm hoping that's a bit better, Rico. Yeah, it sounds better for me as well. Yeah, when you're ringing off WhatsApp on, on a, in, to a car, it's not very good. Right, so we've covered yeah. Dave Allen. We're on about Gerald Miller now. Uh, I think it's, it's easy to verify someone who's got a foreign fighter because then we can say the problems over there, not over here. I yeah. mean, of course, it's cheated, uh, and that's wrong. He's not the only heavyweight that's ever been called for doing anything, is it? Look at no. Billy and White. I mean, where's his beat on? What happened to that story? And why aren't people asking about that? Story? You're not asking about it, same as still about the. They've all got their agendas, haven't they? Yeah, because they know they can't get press passes if they, if they ask too many questions about Billy and White, or they can't get into these with Billy and White fighters or matchroom fighters. Yeah. They're not hardcore like me. No, um, well that's why you don't get access, do you? Yeah. You have to, you pay a price for saying the truth. Yeah. And that's how the fuck it seems to work. I paid a price when I used to lie 20 years ago, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you need to ask the phone tell so then you're really happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I think that's right, mate. I'm just gonna try this here. Hang on a second. Let me just try this. Enter to Bluetooth. Try this. Bluetooth connected. Is that better, Rico? Yeah, that's better. Is that better? I keep saying it. Uh, I just think that. Look. Gerald Miller, you know if he were going in front of a jury and they know about his previous well, even if they didn't know about his previous, you just take one look at him and you hear all knackers he comes out with you'd give him a guilty, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, you just have to look at his contract, right? Yeah. Uh, he's like the second most active heavyweight ever to throw punches and he's one of the heaviest fighters. There's no more chicken than that. So, that's how I look at it, mate. That's how I look at it. So, I just feel that, uh, at the moment, we're all being lied to, mate. I just feel that we're all being lied to, mate. Hello? I just feel that we're being lied to, Rico, all the time, and... These people have got that much power now with these platforms and they're letting Eddie be the voice of boxing and he's saying what he wants and everybody's hanging out at the back of him, aren't they? Exactly. I mean, imagine if Daniel Miller was a matchroom fighter. They would either drop him like Hawk Tone. If he was a big matchroom fighter like Dillian White, they would make sure that he would be able to You've got to look at it like this, right? In all them 30 odd years of matrimatic, 
They've, how many how many tests have they failed? None, in it. None that we know of. None that we know of. Kenny Anderson failed against Robin Reed, but he wanted a match on fighter, and it was amphetamine. Uh, D Dillian White failed, but they got rid of B sample and got sorted it out. He, he pissed in a cup. A sample failed. B sample took months to come back, and and it, and it were cleared. So what were all that about? And then we've got Gerald Miller, who never got chance to fight, did he? Joshua. I don't know, what are you matching fighter Miller? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Well, Miller a matching fighter? Well, I'm fine, he technically was, but he was supposed to fight some of them matching so they could wash their hands off it, right? They could say he was a Lisa fighter that was fighting a matching card. Uh. I mean, it's, it's just a mess. Nobody really wants to do anything about it. I mean, you can. The moment Titus Fury starts sending legal letters and many or threatening to Bangkok, you can with the legal cost at the moment they buckle. I mean, how is that kind of body a fair arbitrator of whether somebody's guilty or not? It's the only thing you need to do to have if you're not financial power then you can bankrupt the organization. If that was football, say if it were messy or I don't know, Torres, Suarez, any of them would be hell on, wouldn't they? Yeah, um, the, difference, the difference in football is that everybody has a best and interest that football does well and football is perceived as a good thing. Whereas in boxing, everybody in this phase, it's more important where any that match room goes than it is that the whole sport goes. So that's why everybody's briefing against each other and nobody looks at it. This reflects badly on boxing. Nobody cares about that. The only thing they care about is their own cash power. Yeah, wrong, isn't it? It's, so that way the sport will never grow, will it? I mean, how can it grow? The only thing that Eddie wants is a match room brand rather than the sport to grow. Yeah. I see what you mean mate, it's not good and uh, the sport's in disarray in my opinion.